What is going on, students and staff of Valverde High School and Valverde Academy? I'm Chino, and welcome to the Nightline News Show. I'm Javin, and this is the news show for the week of March 4th through March 8th, 2024. Let's see what's going on at Valverde. So hey, we're gonna have a big news show this time around. So sure. let's get things going. So yeah, let's get this show going. Let's start things off with Ms. Vargas, who has a Cavs question of the week. Hello, good morning, Knights and Centurions. Here we are, week seven. Back with our next question of the week. And it is a math question. Okay, so make sure teachers check your email. You can post the question so the students can see the question more easily. And remember, wait till 11.15 to submit your answer. So far, Ms. A's class in room 509 is just killing it. Keep it going, guys. But come on, give them some competition, people. Okay, so here's this week's question. Consider parallelogram A, B, C, D with point X at the intersection of diagonal segments A, C and B, D. Evelyn claims A, B, C, D is a square. Select all statements that must be true for Evelyn's claim to be true. So again, select all statements. So it doesn't give you an exact number of how many correct answers there are. Select all statements that must be true for Evelyn's claim that ABCD is a square. All right, so good luck. And since I'm up here, I actually have one more announcement for you. Testing all around where you got LPAC, which cool, we just finished. Bravo LPAC students. Thank you so much for hanging in there. Even though I made you take an extra test, I'm so sorry. Um, we have another test for you, ASVAB. A-S-V-A-B, ASVAB, is a test that you will be able to take. You can volunteer for it. You don't have to take it. ASVAB will be offered here on March 20th. So if you'd like to sign up, you can see the code below. Um, we also have a QR code. You can scan and sign up. Now, why would you want to take the ASVAB? ASVAB is a test. Now, while it is used for the military, we are not using it for that purpose. Now, you can use it if you are going to the military. Hey, you already took the ASVAB, but that's not actually why I want you to take it. Consider taking the ASVAB because the results will actually also pair you with not only how you do academically, but more importantly, your interests and passions. And it can match you with a job that you could actually be happy and successful with. So consider taking the ASVAB, sign up today for March 20th. Thank you, Ms. Vargas. Hey students, just a reminder for those graduating in March, make sure to get your community service hours done. Reminder, 10 hours are needed, as well as your FAFSA. Now, here's Ms. Whitmer with school news for us. Good morning, Knights. This is Miss Whitmer, your PBIS coach here at Valverde High School, Valverde Academy. I just wanted to pop on here and let you know that you did a great job with value time last week. Please keep it up. Make sure you get out your computers, your Chromebooks right now and sign up for your sessions for Tuesday and Thursday. Another thing is I wanted to remind you guys that um, we have our slogan here of show your values. I wanted to remind you that values means what does the V in values stand for? It stands for vision. What does the A in values stand for? It's attitude. And what is the L in values? That would be learning. If you are asked or you want to come up to me within the next couple weeks and let me know that you know what VAL means, I will give you PBS points or you can ask your teacher for them. I just wanted to remind you, again, have a great week. Sign up for your, for your value time and keep showing your values. Thank you, Ms. Whitmore. Hey students, Ms. Tudor would like to let you know that there's a competition for all the advisory classes on who could raise the most money for March of Dimes. The winning advisory class will have a pizza party and will throw a pie on one of our administrators' faces. <laughs> to donate, please come see Ms. Tudor in room 304. Now let's go to Coach Martin who will give us a piece of his mind. It's another day. Hold on, I got a cough. <coughs> but we're good. Yes! I got over that cough pretty well. And that's what the rest of you guys gotta do. When you get sick, just get over it, man. Be surprised about water and a vitamin can do. Eat right, drink right, know what's going on, but I'll tell you what's going on. Listen, the Valverde basketball team rolling into the playoffs. That is what's going on. 
You have quarterfinals coming up, then from there on that Friday is going to be semifinals. The Valverde Knights, they are ready to go. And if they're successful through those two rounds, championship is next Wednesday. But the question is, when's my personal championship, coach? Your personal championship, that's right, all you Valverde Knights, your championship day is going to be, ready for it? March 15th, that's when report cards are going in. That's when report cards are due. Your game is your grades. Go play your game. Let's go win your game. Let's go. And for all the seniors who are graduating early, we wish you well. For all of your seniors who thought they were graduating early, well, here's your Kleenex. We'll see you next quarter, and let's go. Let's not make it a summer school event, guys, for you can do this. So now next thing, talking about doing this, Seniors graduating early, what do I do? What do I do? How do I stay in touch? Don't forget about the ASB Instagram app. Stay on that for all of your senior activities so you know what's going on and you don't get caught by surprise and nobody taught us. Ms. Kubota has set that up so everybody can stay abreast about what is happening on our, on our campus and what's happening on our campus. One, championship volleyball, uh, championship basketball coming. We have soccer coming. Grades are coming, and not only that, nine days remaining in the quarter. That's right, nine days, you better get it on, and only 59 school days left, baby. That's right, let's start counting them down now. 59 and down to 58, and we'll talk to you guys later. Stay focused on your grades, nine days to the end of the quarter, 59 days remaining until the end of the school year, and your grades are going in on 315. Wish you well, talk to you later. Thank you, coach. Hey students, do you need a job? If you do, Mr. Mohammed has a list of jobs in the Moreno Valley, Paris, and Riverside areas. If you would like to find out more information, please see him in room 302. Are you this week's winner? Here is Ms. Vargas, who will be drawing five lucky names who will win prizes. Hello, hello. Okay, so for question of the week from last week, so on February 28th, we had about 20 players play. Come on, there's about 120 juniors out there. How come I'm only having 20 kids play? But hey, for you 20 that played, it makes it a lot easier to win. So fun fact for our um, Look It on Cast California Science Test questions. I don't know guys, you might need some work on, on science. We got about 50% of our questions correct. And what are the odds? You got 212 questions right and 212 questions wrong um, out of the 20 of you, or 21 players. So anyway, thank you so much for your participation. Thank you teachers for encouraging our juniors. Just give it a go. It's just practice, it's fun, and it's preparing us for the cast happening in April. So who are our winners? You can come by and see Mrs. Dodo in her office. She will have something for you to sign so that you can collect your gift card, money, 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 to Starbucks, Target, I don't know what else she has, Little Caesars. She's got gift cards, please go see her. So let's check out our five winners from this, from last week's uh, cast book it. Here we go. Winner number one. Donnie from room 303. All right, Donnie, come see Ms. Dudo in her office. You got to sign and get your gift card. Okay, so I'm going to remove Donnie so he doesn't win again. Thank you, Donnie. You'll also probably notice that there's not 21 names there. I had to delete some of the names because we had 21 names participate, but then Half of the names didn't actually take the quiz. They signed in, but didn't actually take it. So these are students that signed in and took the quiz. All right, let's do it again. Beep, beep, beep. And who's it gonna be, who's it gonna be? Clear winner here, Lance from room 408. Muy bien, Lance. So come see Ms. Dodo in her office for your gift card. Next. Ba -ba -da -bum. Okay, looks like we got Richard from also room 408. Thank you, Miss Singh. Okay, Miss Singh's class is rocking it. Thank you. We got two more. Here we go. All 
also from room 408. Thank you, Alexia. Come by and see Ms. Doe in her office. And last one. Looks like all of our winners have been from Miss Sings room 408. Bravo again, Alexander. Please make sure you stop by Ms. Dodo's office and grab your gift card. Thank you. All right, well, that's it for me this week. I hope more of you participate. It pays to play. Make sure you show your values. Have a great day, Knights and Centurions. Thank you, Mrs. Vargas. On this Wednesday's advisory, we will have a special broadcast in which Mrs. Vargas will tell us that this week's Cavs question. The broadcast will start at 10.05 sharp. Now here's Mr. McCarrick with some more school news followed by Mr. V. Good morning, Valverde High Knights. We are two weeks away from finishing up this quarter. So very important, make sure you finish strong. Go to all your classes on time this week and next week. Get your finals done. We wanna make sure you get your full 22.5 credits for the quarter. Now for my seniors who are in credit recovery, you got this Tuesday, Thursday, and then next Tuesday, Thursday, and that is it. So if you are working on your credit recovery class, please get that done, show up to your teachers in the Tuesday and Thursday afternoons, and take care of business. For my seniors graduating quarter three, we are having a senior meeting Tuesday afternoon, fifth period in the gym. So please make sure you're here on Tuesday afternoon so we can talk about all the senior checkout activities that are gonna be going on. Lastly, FAFSA and community service are a requirement for graduation. So if you're graduating in March and you don't have those done, you are coming back for quarter four. Make sure you make that appointment with Ms. K or Ms. Marin, get your FAFSA done, Get your hours turned in early, that way you're not in a long line on that senior checkout day on the 15th. That's all I have, have a great rest of your day. Hey, what's going on, Knights? It's Mr. V, I'm back again, your new school counselor. Uh, together with Mr. McCarrick, we are both here to support you and to help you graduate or to help you transition back to the high school. Uh, I wanna thank the staff that I got to meet over the last few weeks. You guys have all been great and welcoming, so thank you very much for uh, welcoming me as part of the family. Um, and to the two students that came by. Thanks for introducing yourselves, I appreciate it. Hey, but there's still time. So come visit me, come uh, say hi, come say what's up, let's get to know each other, and, um, and, and we'll have a great rest of the school year. All right, thanks very much, take care, bye guys. Thank you Mr. McCarrick and Mr. V. Students, just a reminder, this quarter is ending on March 15th. Now, here's Elliot with this week's weather report. Hello Knights and Centurions, I'm Elliot and here's this week's weather forecast. So let's get started. Today, it looks like we have a partly cloudy skies with the highs at 58 and the lows at 40 degrees. Tuesday again, we have a partly cloudy skies with the highs at a cool 63 degrees and lows will be at a cool 42 degrees. Wednesday, it's a repeat with a partly cloudy skies and the highs will be at cool 63 degrees and the lows will be 43 degrees. Thursday, there will be AM showers with the highs of 63 degrees and lows will be at 41 degrees. And finally, Friday, it will be sunny skies with the highs of 65 and the lows of 41 degrees. Well, that's this week's weather report. I'm Elliot, and back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Elliot. Now the Rollers Travel Adventures Club is recruiting. If you like outdoor travel, Visiting local venues and food, you might enjoy the club. If you're interested in being a part of the leadership team, please contact Mr. A. Vance in room 204. And remember, adventure is just one step away. Now here's Savannah and Gio with some ASB news for us. Hey there students and staff, I'm Gio. And I'm Savannah, and we're here to give you guys the senior scoop. To start us off, on March 15th, Jocelyn's will be here on campus selling cap and gowns for $45 cash. Later that day, we'll be having our senior sunset from 6 to 8 p.m. Tickets are going to be $15 beforehand or $20 at the door. You also need to turn in a permission slip, which you can get at room 308. We're going to be having lots of activities there and some food and drinks, so make sure you guys check it out. Next, our prom is going to be on April 26th at the Fox Theater in Redlands. It'll be from 7 to 11 p.m. and tickets are $110. You'll also need a permission slip for that one as well. And the theme is Old Hollywood, so get dressed. May 8th is going to be when we have our Senior Awards Dinner from 5.30 to 7 p.m. in the gym. This event is by invitation only and you can only bring two guests with you. 
And now May 10th is gonna be our grad night. We're gonna be going to Universal Studios from 3.30 p.m. to 4 a.m. the next day. Tickets are to $150 and yes, you will need a permission slip for this one as well. Including the ticket is one free meal voucher and a souvenir bag. Also, our graduation practice will be on May 24th from 10 to 11.30 a.m. You guys are gonna meet here at Val and then we'll all take a school bus together at, to go to Orange Vista High School. Last, but most certainly not least, our graduation will be on May 28th at Orange Vista High School in which the time is still currently being decided. Well, that's all of our senior activities, so make sure you guys stay updated. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and visit Professor Kubota in room 307 or in the ASB room in room 308. Remember to keep up the good work, cause seniors, we're almost there. Yodels! Thank you, Savannah and Gio. Now, here's Mr. Doe with some final school news for us. Happy Monday, Knights and Centurions. It's Mrs. Dado, your principal, and I have a couple short announcements for you this week. First things first, students, we want you here on time. We want you in classes, first period, ready to learn. But should you get here late and you're coming through the front office because the gates are already locked, Please make sure that you are not coming through the office with a latte. If you have time to stop and get a coffee, you have time to get here on time. So we don't allow you to bring in any outside food or beverage. The goal is to get you here on time and ready to learn. Second, we are quickly approaching prom season, end of the year senior activities, and you might wanna attend an event from another school site. I wanna remind you that you have to earn that privilege. So if you are expecting to go with a boyfriend, girlfriend, some of your buddies to an end of the year event like prom or any other kind of end of the year dance senior celebration at a neighboring comprehensive high school and you want us to sign off on a guest pass, we are looking for good grades, no behavior issues, and definitely good attendance. If you've got 50 tardies, then I don't have time to sign your guest pass, all right? So we wanna make sure that you are earning that privilege to go to other events. And that means doing what you gotta do here. That's all I have, make good decisions, show your Val values, and we'll see you next week. Well, that's it for this new show. Make sure you watch it on Val's YouTube channel. Please subscribe at VVUSD Team Vision. Well, I'm Javen. And I'm Chino. And until next week, Knights and Centurions, same night time. Same night channel. Deuces. Peace.